Assalamu alaikum. Uh, uh, I'm pleased to be with you today, and uh, I feel obliged to thank everyone, the Ministry of the University, and uh, the colleges, College of Language and Translation, and College of uh, Science and Arts. Um, today, we will talk about modern technology in translation practice and research, scope and attitudes of users. Uh, actually, using modern technology in humanities is a flourishing business. Uh, today, and, uh, and has become one of the main concerns of companies, institutions, and universities. They aim to find ways to make translators and humanities uh, scholars in general get on board and join the digital community. Technology is now reshaping our life and redefining all sciences and practices, including humanities disciplines as well. Um, it has become an inescapable method in language, translation, literature, education, so sociology, history, philosophy, logic, art, music, and so on. Therefore, it's gaining, uh, it's gaining ground day in and day out and changes our lifestyles and the way we communicate in translation practice translators and everyone interested in key texts in general use many technology uh, many technological tools and get things done fast and consistently uh, today we will talk about how to make use of technology in translation practice and research together Although the number of tools and resources in this area is growing constantly, translators may not be aware, and also researchers in translation in general, may not be aware about their functions and, uh, and effectiveness. Um, this paper, or this presentation, intends to give an over overview of these tools and resources practically uh, and uh, uh, that could be benefit translators and the Arab world uh, and to measure the attitude of translators toward uh, these tools and uh, technology in, uh, in practice and research. So even researchers in translation studies may utilize technology throughout the different stages in uh, their research. But before we start talking about these tools and, 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 uh, and resources, uh, we need to uh, uh, fit our paper, our presentation in the tra in translation studies. I, I, know, I think you are familiar with uh, Holmes' classification of translation studies into pure and applied. Uh, we'll, uh, and, and this classification has been uh, developed later uh, applied translation studies now uh, is uh, addressing uh, uh, the uh, uh, technology, technology, translation technology. So we have got to do with Google translation and um, CAT computer assist translation in translation studies as well. So technology, technology changed translation as a process and the way translators uh, work. Practically all translators and everyone, not just translators, use computers before they start the job, during and after the process of translation. If you ask anyone to translate, he will instantly go online and use Google Translation or use electronic dictionaries. This is something which is not avoided. Um, so, uh, and our views to technology is not updated actually because we rely on the output which has been uh, available before uh, when they started you know, using Google Translation 20 years ago and we have got bad uh, results or a poor translation. We started to avoid using Google Translation and we don't trust the technology anymore. But they, they work day and night to improve all these tools, starting from machine translation. Uh, Google, 
uh, I think just to uh, bring it to mind, the Google Translation has adopted rule-based translation, and then they started to shift to something which is more uh, mo uh, more uh, reliable, which is statistic-based uh, translation. And then in 2016, they started to st uh, use neuro machine translation, neural machine translation. And if you use Google Translation today, you will find a great change in the product. And this will be improved later. They are working day and night, like I said. If you, if you look at what Google Translator had done before in the two, uh, since 2000, uh, embarrassing. But today, I think the uh, I, any translation has been improved. So I'll talk today about tools and resources for translation practice, which could be employed to improve your product and also the quality and quantity of translation together. So we'll start with Google, uh, with Microsoft Word. Everybody uses Microsoft Word, but he, everybody doesn't use Microsoft Word in translation, especially I used Microsoft Word in translation research, for example. I use a function which is called uh, compare files. Have you heard about compare files? This function is very effective and easy to use. If I want to compare two text, two translations of one text, I use Google uh, Microsoft Word to highlight the differences quickly. I combine and I, I use another uh, tool, which is concordance, a concordance like you have any th that has been discussed before by Dr. Uh, Zummer. I use some concordance with Microsoft Word to find out the differences between the two versions of the translation, of the original. Uh, so I make a word list of translation one and another word list for translation two, using concordancer after getting, and then I combine both together in Microsoft Word fun, uh, under compare file. You can get to that function through review or muraja'ah in Microsoft Word. And then I can compare the two files. The unique items in each file appear in different color. You'll fi quickly find the things which occur once will be the unique, file, unique items used by any of the translators. Then you can start examining the differences between the two translators quickly with Microsoft Word. You can also study domestication and fronization, which Dr. Walid talked about uh, quickly. You can use Microsoft Word as well and the fine font. You can see the proportion of exoticism explicitation, you can count, you can count hits, yes, you can count hits uh, that is in italic or bold, how, how come? Some, uh, when we have proper translation, published translation, uh, the uh, foreign words are uh, put in italic or bold. So in Microsoft Word, you can get to these uh, uh, items quickly and will get you the percentage of the usage and how uh, any uh, both translator differ in using foreign words just through Microsoft Word quickly. Corpus-based translation. Corpus-based translation, I use concordance. Corpus-based translation is a more recent and fast growing approach to translation which employs corpus linguistics in translation. And researchers began to realize that electronic corpus can function as a reliable methodology in translation because it handles a wide range of textual resources. Uh, these corpus may reveal unnoticed features in both the source language and the target language examined, which could be language, culture specific or general. With the help of a corpus, we get something which is, could be new to the translator, unprecedented opportunities to study and contrast languages in use, including frequency distribution and stylistic uh, uh, preferences. Corpora are absolutely 
essential for microlinguistic studies, but they will also enrich studies of lexical and grammatical patterns. I'll give you something, and this is good, could be theoretical, but let me talk about something I use practically. I have got that sentence, which you can see, كان صحابة النبي نجوما تزين السماء. You can search for every single word in dictionaries. You can search, you can translate, use Google. It's up to you. But what I did, I used a concordancer. I used uh, some text, which I think they are reliable, authentic. And I wanted my translation to be more authentic. And also I want to use it, to make it يعني, like a literary, uh, I use literary style. You can, uh, everybody can translate Sahaba into companions, and Nabi, Prophet, Nujuman, uh, stars, uh, Tuzayin, you can find out in dictionaries, it uh, could, could be beautify, could be Adon, could be decorate, uh, sama, heaven, could be sky. But to get to the literary usage, you need to check literary texts. How to find letter text, how to use letter text, you can upload the text, the letter text. I upload the letter text on, on the, on the concordancer, and then I can search on the possibility and the, the relationship between each word. I tried Sahaba, it doesn't exist because they don't have Sahaba. I tried, and it doesn't exist actually in, in the uh, any literature. So, Nujuman. I used the word Nujum and the word heaven. I used the word the sky first and then I changed to heaven. Look at what I, st I, I found. I found this from a, 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 literary, a, a, a book which is called The Mirror of Literature, Amusement and Section. I put just a wild card, a wild card which is like an uh, at uh, used in Gmail and uh, an email. I, I found this example. Beautiful stars gemmed the white conch of heaven, very and refined. So I used the word gemmed for Tuzayin. I think this is more literary. I, how can I get to this style without these tools? And easy to get. It takes just a few seconds to get the, to the right. Even, I, I'm, even the English people cannot do that kind of style. They didn't have the style, unless they are any poets or uh, literary people or authors, but any uh, n uh, common or lay people, uh, English people cannot get to that style actually. They will think about easy, simple words, common words, but as a translator, it, it's up to you what to use. And this can be done, a piece of cake, by technology. So. Uh, I've got lots of, uh, of tools, actually, in mind, and I will talk about briefly because uh, today and I'll let you, I'll give you a list of, uh, of tools that you can use later when you go home, and you will find they are very helpful and useful. Uh, my research questions uh, uh, to check how familiar are students in Texas and Transita with technology. They are not familiar, actually. After I, I conducted this research, most people are not aware of the uh, uh, potentiality of, of technology. Do they have access to transition tools? No, they don't have. They don't know about it, but about them. What are their attitudes toward the effectiveness of technology and translation practice research? I put that list to my respondent, to my informants, uh, and I found out that many, most, most, trans most of the of students and instructors and, and researchers have no idea about uh, uh, most of these items or tools. They, are, they only know about Google Translation. Some people know about Reverso. Some people know about uh, uh, the uh, Corpora, but you have got many, many tools which could be accessed online for free. Uh, for example, you have got uh, uh, well, uh, reverso. I think some people who are interested in translation practice, they know about reverso. I use reverso. I use Google Translation. I use all of these actually uh, tools to improve my product. 
and also to speed, uh, to, uh, to have everything done quickly. Yeah, equality and speed together. Uh, so I use World Wide Web, even the World Wide Web, you need to know how to use them. They are full of uh, treasures. Uh, you can search, you can find any translate, any, any some pos uh, options for your uh, uh, for any expression you have, and you can use the World Wide Web easily. But you need to know how. You don't have to go and and uh, you can find out how you have good to have you to use some symbols, you know, how to quotations and this sort of things. Uh, Bros. Bros.com is very uh, useful uh, site, website. It's for translators from everywhere in the world. They get together online, virtual meetings. They discuss uh, in all languages the difficulties and uh, challenges that face translators. And also, if you have got some, a problem you face in translation, you can put it in that, any, uh, there online, and they will uh, answer you. You will find tens of people who will give you uh, uh, the right answer worldwide. Why? Because when they get you, give you an answer, they get reward. They are not. They are paid for it because they will be. Their score will increase, and when their score is increased, they will get more payment. Uh, Concordance, like I said, with the example, can Sahabat and Nabi. Uh, uh, concordance, you have got concordance online free, like AntConc is online. You can download it from uh, for free. AntConc, uh, they're followed by Matthew um, Lawrence. Um, Taos. Taos also is very close to uh, Reverso. Uh, Paracorpa. Taos also is, uh, our, uh, is, is based on data which has been prof uh, translated by professional translators. Why do you have to translate from scratch? You can uh, look how the, uh, the translators everywhere in the world have done it before. Uh, for example, I, do I have to translate, for example, uh, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam uh, uh, from the beginning? Or let's, let's see how it is translated by professional translator. Um, Al Maani is a good and electric dictionary. Al Corpora, uh, Webcorp as well is also it's a, a corpus using uh, the uh, data online. And for example, I use Google Books as data. You can go online and use Google Books. You know how many books you have in Google Books? One million three hundred thousand books. You can just search in them in one click. You can find out how the word is used, how an exhibition is used, and will tell you the percentage. For example, I search for uh, a word. I want to know, for example, the word uh, terror, terrorism, or jihad. When, this, when did the people start using this word? I found out that it's, they started, for example, 150 years. That word found its, uh, its way to English just 150 years ago. And who? And he founded it. How? Who established it? George. Uh, no, no, it's not. It's a Coleridge. Sorry, Coleridge, the famous British color. Uh, he, the only, the first person who who used the word jihad in English is Coleridge. How can I get to this information? I can go through the hundred, uh, the, the million three hundred books. If I spend my life or oh, thousand lives, I won't cover one percent of these books. Uh, my memory, my memory uh, is also uh, like Reverso and like Taos. You can also find different data you uploaded on there on that website. You can also, yeah, the, yeah, uh, uh, the best, uh, I, I use Reverso, Taos, memory, <laughs> the three of them, for existing translation. For example, for uh, it's like memory, okay? Uh, corpora, yes. Uh, two lingua as well, uh, the same. It's corpora, uh, to, uh, uh, online, you can uh, look at the Arabic and English version 
together in one topic. Uh, Babinet as well has got also, it's not famous, but also has got something like Google Translation and they're starting working on improving their product like Google Translation. Freeze up, this is amazing uh, software. And they, started, start, they uh, started to improve it. It's like the idea which I raised shortly with Kana Sahaba Tindabi. They use, we use wildcard, which is at, to find out expressions that contain the two words together in, in famous and well-established expressions in English or in Arabic. Yes, uh, for, yeah, you just think about common words from the text, which you think they are yani, correct, and then you can build them. Uh, this this uh, website uses the same idea, but it, it will complete your sentence. It will, it's a smart, very smart, this website, the last, the last uh, tool, it's very smart. It will predict uh, the, the, the remaining part of the sentence and will give you that suggestion for you to edit. Is it okay or not? Like not like Google search. This is more uh, used uh, based on artificial intelligence. Uh, the idea is you give, him, you give it three, if you translate the sentence, for example, you give two, three words, it will give you a whole sentence <laughs> for you. This will, uh, it, it predicts based on uh, statistics, right? So, so I, I made a survey on tools and resources for translation professional uh, and category of the questionnaire familiarity with translation tools and resources in translation practice, familiarity with translation tools and resources in translation research, translation, translator's attitude toward translation technology. So I work in two areas, translation practice, and translation research. Um, actually, most participants belong to the main state universities in Riyadh, King Saud University, Al Imam Muhammad Saudi Islamic University, Princess Noor University, in addition to some participants outside Riyadh, particularly Prince Satam University and Taif University. And this is the percentage of uh, the different categories of the respondents. Translate, I, uh, uh, I've got students 51%, translators 15%, instructors 34%, and I've got 49% female and 51% male. Uh, the output is uh, the findings, uh, and we'll finish, finish off with findings, that I found out most, most respondents use only, or have an idea about Google Translation, or Al Maani or W W W World Web World 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 Web World Wide Web Yes, but they have no idea about what I have uh, uh, raised shortly. So 38% um, they know about they use Google Translator, Al Maani dot com, World Wide Web. When asked about the translation tools or resources. Responses were not comparable to the above results. Uh, they avoid saying that they use Google Translation. They feel ashamed that, uh, to tell anybody that they use Google Translation uh, because it, uh, you don't any exert effort in doing the job. If you ask, if you tell the client that you are using Google Translation, he will give you any lower rate, lower rate. So uh, they don't put it that way. So participant attitude toward transition technology, 87% agreed or strongly agreed that using online resources for transition practice, but they don't know about this and the list type uh, I've said, uh, I've talked about. 95% um, confirmed that they are interested in learning new transition tools. Uh, so when we come to the differences between the categories of the respondents, I found that instructors and professional translators are skeptical about using technology in translation. And uh, the uh, student, yes, I'll, okay. Um, 
they are skeptical uh, translators and professors they are skeptical uh, skeptical about using uh, uh, t technology in translation maybe because they are not aware of the development of the work which is being done uh, around the clock everywhere in the world uh, and they have no about, uh, idea about the artificial intelligence and how artificial intelligence is invading everything in this life. Uh, so when we come to uh, the statistical differences, uh, uh, sorry, the internal differences among countries of transport, I was, I, 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 I thought that uh, women use technology more than men. But I found out both of them they use uh, technology uh, comparably, so in a comparable any basis. So uh, the main point is using technology in translation practice. A research is unavoidable. Thank you. <laughs>